If you have come across philosophical discussions about perception, you may have seen or heard the term sense datum. There's even a theory called the sense datum theory. But what are these things, sense data? Many people seem to think that sense data are peculiar mind-dependent or non-physical entities, and that the sense datum theory claims that instead of the ordinary things like tables and chairs, we only ever perceive sense data, these peculiar things. But this take on sense data is not at all necessary, and I think it's very unhelpful if you want to see why the term is useful in the theory of perception. It was G. E. Moore, a Cambridge philosopher, who suggested that we should think of the term sense data in a different way. So according to him, sense data are best understood as whatever is given in perceptual experience. It's a bit like the concept of a birthday present. So when you tell me that you got a birthday present, there's nothing I can infer about the nature of what you got. All I know is that you got something for your birthday. Similarly, when I say that I'm aware of a sense datum, all I say is that there's something I see or hear or feel. You don't know anything about what it is that I perceive. And that's Moore's point. The sense datum gets introduced as a functional category. It is just whatever is given in experience. And this is much better, I think. Well, why? Well, first of all, it's not obvious to me that there is anything more, some deeper nature, that unifies all the objects of experience. Think of a flower pot or a rainbow or someone's perfume or an itch. What do all these things have in common, apart from that they are potentially objects of perception? We know that all of these are potential sense data, but not because they share a common nature. More importantly, thinking of sense data as a functional kind allows us to be more careful in approaching what perception is like. In spelling out the phenomenology or the character of perceptual experience, the sense datum theorist need not say anything about the nature of the objects of experience. If we introspect, we can now say that perception seems to us to be simply a presentation of a sense datum and nothing more. Now, in saying that, we don't say all that much, but that's the point. So we can say something about what perceiving is like without saying anything about what the objects of perception are like. And that's neat. So I hope you now see that instead of denoting some kind of peculiar entity, the term sense datum as a functional term is still quite useful in theorizing about perception.